Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to yet another matchday vlog and yet another video on the channel as well. So, it's matchday vlog time. Uh, the show is split up into three three parts really. Uh, one is before before the match where I react to the team news, which I'm going to be doing right now in a sec. Um, the next part of the show uh, will be halftime news, uh, sorry, halftime reaction, uh, so how we play in the first half. And the third section of the show is the full-time reaction, the instant full-time reaction, and what I'll be telling to you, my instant reaction of the game, how, how mainly how I rant basically about how City, how badly City plays. But this is the lineup: Max Lewis in goal, Pring, Riley Towler, Callas Viner. Now, first thing, Bentley doesn't start. I think we all know where this is going, isn't it? Um, I think Bentley's on his way. Um, Ta Riley Towler's in. Um, I'm not sure whether Towler's going to play at left back or whether Prink's going to fill in or Towler's going to fill in. Interesting to see how that works out. Um, James is going to be the sitter. Scott and Ben Roos, that's extremely attacking. Uh, Callow Downer and Andy Vyman and Antoine Semenya. Almost seems like a 4 1 4 1. But the two in front of Matty James, which is Scott and Ben Roos, are going to be really attacking. So it's a diamond midfield, really, with James, Ben Roos, Scott, Semenyo, all, all kind of squidging together in a way. Again, Semenyo starts, so that's good news. Uh, he came off injured against QPR, I didn't need to at the end of the game, so that's good news that Semenyo's back. And hopefully he can do well. Real shocks in the team. Towler, the midfield, it's very attacking. And... No Bentley still. Southampton links are gonna heat up now, aren't they? Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's not looking promising really. And obviously, no Casey Palmer the squad. We know all know what's happening with QPR and Casey Palmer. We think he's on his way to Campus Palace Stadium. Anyways, I'll see you at half time where Bush City are winning six 0 And the Vyman hat trick, right? Aiman Barus is gonna get a double. Alex Scott is gonna score in the forty seventh minute. What am I going to tell you? This is going to happen, right? We're going to be 6 and up at half-time. And then we'll somehow still manage to find a way to eke out a 6-5 win, you know? that's Because like, that's what we do. We never, we would never want to make, win it by two goals. Uh, because we've not done that all season. Anyways, uh, I'll see you at half-time. Half-time at Ashton Gate, right? Um, and it's not been good. It's not been good. Uh, Bush City 1, Millwall 2. Um, I don't really know what to say. It's been... It's... It's, it's been poor. It's been really bad. And... Since we took the lead through Andy Vyman, a poor clears by Bielkowski. Gives it straight to Vyman. Takes a touch. Takes another touch. And then his third touch just lobs over Bialkowski. Fantastic finish. Uh, but Andy Vyman scores another goal. He's really our only real outlet um, going forward now, isn't he? And and then he scores Tom Bradshaw. Then he equalises. Brilliant ball by Mari Wallace down the left-hand side. Bradshaw gets him out of the towler. Wrestles him off. Go and then a penalty. Uh, for for Millwall, uh, Ojo direct run slides it through for Benedict Kafobe. Also up against his old club, um, goes down. Riley Towler brings him down. Uh, it's not a red card because he goes for the ball, but brings him down. Um, and then obviously Benedict Kafobe does a dummy, sends O'Leary the wrong way, sticks it in the corner. Not getting that is he? Um, And then, one more observation I made was the confidence. That's such an issue right now. It is such a huge issue. We started the game extremely well. We start, we look very confident on the ball. We look like we're going to create chances. As soon as we concede that first goal, as soon as we concede that first goal, it just sucks the life out of us. It just sucks the life out. It is, 
it is untrue. We barely created anything off that. The only thing we did create after 1 0 was um, that Antoine Semenyo's chance. Uh, Callas gets the ball in his own half, runs forward, gets into the opposition half, slides all through. Semenyo takes a touch, should be hitting that first time, shouldn't he? I mean, I love Antoine Semenyo, if you don't know, it's a, you know, <laughs> never mind. Um, I'll, I'll stop waffling on. Um, but he should be hitting that first time, shouldn't he? To at least take a touch and then smash it. S takes it to Bielkowski's left, it's quite low down. Bielkowski's in a good position, keeps it keeps it away from going in the goal. Riley Towers has been really poor. Um, also gave him that penalty, and since then, he's not really comfortable. He's not been comfortable the whole game. He's put Matt Kudder in under some pressure at times. He's he's just basically not helped the figuration of our team. He's he's been kind of an imbalance in there. The Callis has been good. I think Vine has been I think Vine has been caught at times through my Wallace, say at Shayojo, whoever it is. That Mitchell Ojo and Saville partnership in the middle of the park, when Ojo's just dropping as well in the three really hurting us. We need to try and find a way to uh, neutralise that in the first half, whether that's Hanoma Senko, whoever it is. Robaxon can check, changing shape, take Riley Tower off. I'd take Riley Tower off. Personally, and Belarus has not been great either. Um, changes needed in the second half if we're going to get anything from this game at all. Because at the moment, it seems Millwall are going to get... If Millwall, if Millwall get the next goal, this game is over. Uh, this game is well and truly over because we even if we get a goal with it, we don't. We don't in fact, we don't look like scoring a goal. Um, confidence is just draining. It's getting sucked out of us, and we're all doing very well in terms of dictating possession and also just keeping it nice, steady length for them. Anyways, I'll see you full time. From being utterly depressed to being utterly ecstatic, what a performance in the second half by Bristol City. To get the three points against Millwall. What a performance. We really deserve that. Andy Feynman. Two on nine and a half time. Gets our goal. Scores two goals in the last 20 minutes of the game. Hat-trick by Andy Feynman. What? What a performance. What a player he is, eh? Um... I am absolutely, yeah, I am very happy with that. I am very happy because I think we deserved at least a point from that game in, in terms of that second half performance. We were brilliant. And Andy Vyman, my word, he's just so good. He is so good. The second goal, Hanno Masenga takes it out wide, puts the ball in, Andy Vyman comes across, puts it in. And then the second goal, uh, sorry, the third goal, the winner, 84 minutes, by the way. The second goal went in on 74, 73. The third goal, the winner, went in on 84. Uh, the ball is played across the box, I think by Semenyo. Scott has a shot, it's blocked on the line, about five mil players are on the line. It's blocked on the line. It falls to Vyman and he smashes it into the roof. And I, <laughs> I was like, oh, if Alex Scott does not score that, it's not going to be our day, it's not going to be the winner. It, it, it was the winner. And Andy Feynman is just so good. He is so good. He's our only attacking outlet. And we still managed to find a way to just about eke it out. I mean, Fobe had a chance. I mean, Bradshaw had an, a header, which he could have, which hit the side netting. It was brilliant. The scenes and the scenes of the South Stand were brilliant. And, and the Lansdowne end, really, was brilliant when we scored that third goal. And it was, it was fantastic. Completely deserve at least a point, maybe not a winner. In terms of the first half, we definitely didn't deserve anything. Second half, though, we were brilliant. Millwall offered little to nothing. We were fantastic. And we really, really hurt Millwall. Under what a performance, what a win. 14th position now, the, the mighty heights of 14th. You know, I'll take 14th at the end of the season because it's a decent little finish. But, you know, that's that's good. Good win, that, against a solid team. And now we just have to kick on. We can't. We can't really stay stagnant now. We can't hope this is one win in five or something. We have to kick on now. Fulham away next. Nice and easy trip. Jesus. Um, but yeah. On obviously, honestly, very very happy with that. And obviously, absolutely fantastic win. 
Now we've got to kick on in the next game. Uh, probably not going to get anything against Fulham, but you know who cares? It's the FA Cup um, as well against Fulham at home, but then it's the league again. So uh, high turnaround, but good win. Kick on now, and now show that we've got the quality to really hurt teams in this league. So we've got to show that and. Yeah, that, that was a good performance and a great result. So, yes, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this match day vlog. If you have, hit the like on the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. And I will see you later. Cheers.